Hey guys, so we're over here at Aviate and uh, we're gonna check this place out. See what they got going on right here. Hey, hey. Hey guys, I'm here with John, owner of Aviate, and he's gonna tell us how all this stuff works. So John, you make a great uh, three-stage application for the LS engine, which is what I use and a lot of my competitors now. Tell me about the three-stage and just kind of what you, you guys come up with for that to work. Well, a three-stage drive sump system is your basic lubrication system for a racing engine nowadays. And what we have is we have two scavenge sections to remove the oil from the engine and pump the oil to a tank. And then we have one pressure section that replaces the internal pump with an external pump that is basically configured to the particular engine and the application. And there's numeral, numerous benefits to that in that we can, one, control oil in the engine better. We can get it to a place where it can prepare itself to be reused on a continuing basis. And it gives us a lot more flexibility with the lubrication system that's so externally adjusted. Just on this unit here, so this being our two scavenge in, this sends it to the tank? Correct. This being our uh, from the tank going in, and then you send this to where you need to on the block. the engine. Gotcha. Right. So yeah, pretty simple. This isn't the exact one uh, that I'm using. One that I have has a pretty cool trick bracket that lets it bolt right onto the engine. And uh, that actually bolted up fine. Motor mount clearance, everything was good there. Had no problems. Installed really nice. And uh, yeah, so this tank it's not just a tank, is it? It's definitely got more going on than I thought. Well, so what, what is going on inside of here? The tank's your primary air oil separator mechanism in any system like that. It kind of takes the place of the airspace above the oil in the sump of a wet sump can. Uh -huh. But by getting it out from underneath the engine, uh, we can carry as much oil as is needed. And this is a five gallon. This is a five gallon. You typically, you know, typically a small V8 like that would run with a two and a half to three gallon tank. So it would be, you know, proportionally smaller. Mm -hmm. But the idea is, is you want to get the oil back to a place where it can basically release the air that it's picked up inside the engine. The quote unquote dreaded aeration. That gotcha. occurs inside. So that's what the these guys are doing then. What these guys are doing is that these are allowing. This is allowing the oil to basically release its air, and we do that in a couple of ways. It comes out of the return on the side of the tank, and, it's, and it blows out into open space, where it essentially falls onto the baffle, which is the initial release mechanism. And then on the baffle, it tends to flow down in the thin film, which is a secondary release mechanism. And then it drops down into the oil in the, in the bottom of the tank, which is the reservoir. And we typically want about anywhere around a third of, an air, a third of the tank's capacity in air gap above the oil that's in the tank. OK, so you're actually only feeling it to this height then? Right. Gotcha. Then we're putting additional baffles in here to stabilize the oil so that as you turn, as you accelerate, as you brake, uh, it tends to restrain the oil in the bottom of the tank. We get down to the bottom of the tank where we pick up off the side here and this is in an enclosed area so that we prevent air from weeping down into this and doing what we call toilet bolting, which is uh, you can suck air through several inches of oil if you don't have something to break up that cyclone that'll that'll start up when you have a you know suction at the bottom gotcha. in any kind of bottom bottom body of oil. So this is the inlet here. This would actually be closed. Right. This is the, the outlet. Yeah. Gotcha. This is where the oil is pulled so this out. Is our of the tank. Main pickup. Right. Got you. And then, of course, if you need to drain your oil and change it after every race, like I'm going to, yeah. you got a little uh, drain at the very bottom. So that makes it pretty simple and easy. All right. That's cool. Hey guys, I'm Jeff Jones, Formula D driver of the Dock S4 team. And today I'm going to be installing this Avid dry sump system. So I wanted to show you guys what comes in the box, what you get. Uh, I went with the two and a half gallon fuel t uh, oil tank. So this guy's going to go in the car. I'm going to be installing it right in this section here. Um, for the Formula D rules, I have to put a, a sheet metal plating just in case anything were to happen. But you know, this thing's 
brand new, solid material, looks really good. Uh, I don't imagine anything's going to be happening, but you know, forbid I get into a wreck or something, there needs to be some type of casing here. So I'll show you that later on in the video. Okay, and of course you also get your Avit three-stage oil pump. This right here are your two scavenging uh, inlets, and this is actually one section. Um, it's a stage three, uh, three-stage oil pump, but these two exit out of this one right here, and this will go to your tank itself, and this will be your actual input from the tank, and this will be your output to the engine. I actually went with the LS bracket, so this will bolt up straight to where my uh, AC would have been, but of course this is a full race car, so we're not worried about AC. Pull unit right there. Also in the box, we have our belt with our gear on there, and this is a, um, it's a, a fixed tension, so you don't actually have to use a tensioner on this. This will just bolt up to the pump itself and then the other gear will be uh, right on your harmonic balancer and it's self-tensioned. So. I actually went with got another belt just in case, you know, when we travel the country, we don't know if we're ever going to lose a belt for any reason. I just picked up an old gear. I actually had them send me this as well. This will just be so I can throw on a drill and I can prime my engine before I go to start it. So that'll help me out. This canister here uh, for me, it is also just your vent. What you'll do is you'll run one from your valve cover straight into this guy, and the other one you'll run from the top of the tank and run into that. That way, you, can, you know, give that self a vent. And this will, we'll figure out where we can install this guy somewhere on the car. Still got to look into that. Okay, also in the box, you get this uh, remote location kit for your oil filter. This way you can run your lines into it and out of it. Uh, this is a brand new bolt for your harmonic balancer, a little bit longer. Uh, the bracket to relocate, uh, well not relocate, but to install the pump itself. And a filter, which you know, you can use any brand of filter you want. Um, but this is the part number that goes with it, just in case you needed to order new one. So the oil pan itself is not in the box. Um, we're still waiting on that. That's something that we got special ordered. We decided to go with the inch and three quarters pan uh, for our setup inside the car. We really don't have much clearance. So we decided to go with the short pan. So this will allow us to really sink our motor down low in the car, get a low center of gravity. And uh, of course we're jammed all the way back. So um, really couldn't get a large pan in there. Pretty cool.